This lesson will help you multiply across zeros. If we have a problem, like 203 times 5, we can still use our strategies such as making an area model, which I'm going to do. Since we don't have any tens, even though we're into the hundreds, we can just use the distributive property to make that 203. We don't need a spot for the tens. We multiply the ones first. 5 times 3 is 15. We don't have any tens, so we multiply the hundreds. 5 times 200 is 1,000. Then we add our two parts together, which is 1,015. If we're doing this standard, we just multiply our ones first still. 3 times 5 is 15. Multiply our tens. 5 times 0 is 0. We still have to add that 1, 10. So 0 plus 1 is 1. 5 times 2 is 10. So whichever strategy we use, we will get 1,015. do just one more example that's in the thousands. If I have 2,006 times 7, I'm going to start with my 1's. 7 times 6 is 42. Multiply the 10's. 7 times 0 is 0. 0 plus 4 is 4. Multiply the 100's. 7 times 0 is 0. Multiply the thousands. 7 times 2 is 14. And now my instructions say to check. Estimation is the easiest way, I think, to check. So I'm going to round 2006 to 2000. 2 times 7 is 14 with three zeros. And that is reasonable. I think you're already ready for your two practice problems. So here's your first one. 305 times 6. Go ahead and pause. 5 times 6 is 30. 6 times 0 is 0 plus 3 is 3. 6 times 3 is 18. So 1830 is your answer. We check it, we'll get 300 times 6, which is 1,800. Second practice problem 4,009 times 6. Go ahead and pause. 9 times 6 is 54. 6 times 0 is 0, plus 5 is 5. 6 times 0 is 0. 6 times 4 is 24. So your answer is 24,054. Let's check it. That'll give you 24,000. So that is reasonable. And here are two problems that we'll check in class tomorrow. One in the hundreds, one in the thousands. Number 1 is 208 times 3. Number 2 is 5004 times 7. Multiply those and check for reasonableness. And we'll check them in class tomorrow. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.